Odell, early buzz on uh, Caleb Johnson out there. Uh, him and Jazz, how are they looking so far? They're doing well. You know, obviously, uh, like any high school kid that just shows up, there's a lot to learn, right? There's a learning curve, but those guys are coming out here and uh, busting their butts every day, trying to do what we're asking them to do. And those guys get, are getting better every day, really. What's that learning curve like for a young guy? You went through that when you were freshman here. I think, from honestly, the biggest difference is really on the field because uh, what we're asking to do is, this, you know, stuff's more complex in terms of offensive schemes, uh, pass protections, routes, those type of things. So they're probably being asked to do a whole lot more than they've ever been asked to do before. But those guys are, you know, sticking around after practice, sticking around late at, at night, trying to get a little extra meeting time in with me. So they're, they're trying to come along fine, and, and they're doing their part. You redshirted your freshman year, didn't you? I did. I think most people do redshirt. Uh, I know it's a little bit uncommon these days, but I did. I did. How much did that help you? It helped me a lot. I think it allowed me to get my body a little bit stronger, uh, make the adjustment in terms of um, being a collegiate, you know, a student as well, getting in the classroom, doing those type of things. But as far as on the field, it just allowed me to get stronger, faster, and adjust to the game a little bit more. Could you kind of use your experience maybe if some kid that doesn't want a red shirt and you kind of give them the pros and cons of it, kind of how it helped you? I do. I have that conversation with, uh, with all my guys, really, because you just never really know. You don't know how fast someone's going to develop, uh, and you just don't know what that depth chart is going to look like right away. And, and sometimes the end result is not always uh, indicative of how it all started, meaning I, I red shirted my first year, and I went on to have a pretty good career. Some guys don't red shirt, and uh, maybe NFL's in the cards, maybe it's not. You just never really know how that how that thing is going to play out. Uh, Gavin's been out a little bit. Is that, does that concern you at all? No, we're so we're so early on. Yeah. Um, and it's not anything of significance, so I'm not worried about Gavin. And he's one of those guys where he's always getting mental reps no matter if he's getting a physical rep or not. He knows the offense. He knows what we're doing. So he's one of those guys I trust, and uh, I know he'll be ready. This might be a good question for LeVar, too, but is Devin Hilson a guy who might be able to help on special teams, get on the field more? I mean, what, what's, he, what's his development been like? Well, the expectation really in my room is that all the guys get on special teams and help, but specifically if you're asking about Devin, I think he can. Uh, Devin's a heck of an athlete. Obviously, he wouldn't be here if he wasn't. Um, he's a guy that's had that year to develop. He's been on scout team. He's done He's done some good things um, as far as giving us scout looks last year, and I think he's starting to make that transition this year. So hopefully, uh, to your point, I think he can. I think he will. We've seen some pictures in the gallery of Devin being um, utilizing the as a pass catcher. Is that something that you think, you know, maybe flexing out to, to play some receiver with the, the numbers there? Are you I'm saying Devin or Gavin? I'm Devin. Sorry. Devin. 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 Yeah. Um, really all of them. Uh, like I said, the ex expectation in my room, I don't, I don't limit what someone can do uh, to each individual. The expectation is that every running back in my room can split out if they need to, can get in the backfield if they need to. I just want versatile players, and I think we have that in our room. Uh, so we try to get those guys the best opportunity to really help the offense be successful. He missed a um, good amount of spring practice with the injury. How have you just seen him come back um, and get back into the fold after missing so much time? Real part, missing time sometimes is, is part of the business when you're playing football. The injuries are going to come. But to his credit, he, he's done a good job making sure he's staying involved, staying alert. You know, every time I turn around, he's standing right behind me trying to make sure he's got the play. Um, I think he's dialed in more than he's ever been since he's been here, which is good to see. Right. In terms of Lee Sean, he's somebody that, you know, yourself, Coach Stearns has said has made a huge leap since he entered in in terms of understanding the playbook and just uh, carrying on that momentum. How have you seen that carry over from spring practice to now and really getting into um, the form of the running back competition? It's been great for Lee Sean, wanting to get those reps. Um, he got a chance to play in the bowl game and, and show what he could do. And then you transfer that, trans, trans, move forward. And you, uh, you look at the spring, he gets a lot of reps in the spring. So again, he's getting more understanding, more confidence. Now you come into the fall and he's getting a lot of the one reps right now with uh, Gavin nicked up a little bit. So his confidence is just growing and I think his teammates trust him and he's trusting our schemes too. That's a big part of what, what we need him to do. Thank you. Coach, that's going to push them and put them in the right place. And uh, and I think we got a great group of experienced guys in the room that from day one, Sam LaPorta, Luke Lachey, um, have put their arms around them and has brought those guys forward. Thanks, so, Abdul. Yeah, appreciate Good it. Good to see you, man. You as well. Sorry, I missed the first part, Abdul, yep. uh, that interview. Can you talk about uh, Addison Estringa? I, I talked with him when he committed, and, uh, you know, he's ranked, according to these recruiting sites, as the, you know, 
twelve hundredth best player in the country, and mm. uh, you know a bit of a chip on the shoulder to prove people wrong. And obviously, mm. coming to Iowa as a tight end, he's got that opportunity. What have you seen out of Addison specifically so far? Well, Addison's great, man. Addison's been been showing up every day. Um, he's been showing ever since we came, you know, summer workouts with the freshmen uh, came in. He's been showing up, working his butt off. He's been taking uh, coaching. He's asking the right questions. You know, he, he, you know, we roomed those guys with an experienced guy in a hotel. And so far, Addison has been putting his head down and working. You know, he's not worrying about the days. He's not worrying about the depth, the depth chart. He's, he's, you know, understanding what we're trying to do from a technique perspective, from a fundamental perspective. You know, you can tell him something and it clicks. You can see it click with him a lot faster. But what I, what I believe his growth is coming is when he leaves his building, I can tell he's studying his playbook. He's getting on the film and he's doing the right things to improve at a, at a fast pace. And how are him and Kale different, in your opinion? How they're different? How, how, how do they do I think different, they have different body types? But in terms of you know getting into this program, you know you, you got to be smart, you got to be tough, you got to be sure. competitive. So a lot in, in a ways they're very similar. You know, obviously Addison's going to have maybe a little bit more weight on them than Kel would sure. have. So Kel may have to be in the weight room a little bit more and develop. But you know Addison, I believe, is already 240. So physically, he's probably a little bit ahead. But other than that, those guys are great guys that's coming in working their butt off, and it's going to help us. I asked Liddell this last year when he mm -hmm. came back. Is this surreal for you still? <laughs> have, you, have you gotten used to this yet? Uh, you know, the first week was 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 surreal, but uh, you know, like anything else, you got you got a, you got a job to do. Um, you know, you brought in to 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 really teach and develop and inspire room and bring those guys ahead. So you know, after the first week, you know, that kind of goes out the window, and you and you know you got a job to do to show up and uh, teach and develop. And move these guys forward and continue to continue the great, you know, tradition in that room. How much has Sam helped you having a veteran guy like that coming in to coach that position? It helps a ton because not only are you coming into a room uh, that's new, but you you have some experience in there, right? So maybe you you on the field, you're coaching one guy, but then I look back and Sam's helping the next guy. So you got guys that know what to expect. You got guys that understand the standard. Anytime you're taking over, your new coach taking over in a new room, rather offense or defense, having that experience just helps the onboarding process. Coach Ferentz said a couple times that he referenced uh, Steve Stelianos kind of having a learning curve here. Have you noticed that as well? Obviously, it's a bump up in competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think really coming from junior college or, or you transferring from a uni another university um, or you coming in as an incoming freshman, every program is different. You know, so the, the way we do things at Iowa is probably going to be a little different than what he was accustomed to. But to his credit, he, he's taking it, he's, he's running with it, um, he's showing up every day, he's asking the right questions, he's, he's, he's working, he's coming out here, putting in the work, um, he's being a great teammate, and, and so far it's been working out for him. I know hindsight, you, you'll probably reflect on this later, but is there something special about you coming in here first year back with this freshman class? I mean, is, is there kind of a bond there since you guys are kind of new mm -hmm. at this tight end thing together? <laughs> I don't really look at it like that. I mean, I mean, you you would think, um, you know, this class was established actually be, before I got here. Um, right. So when I when I'm coming into a room as a, as a new position coach, it really doesn't matter t to me how they got here, whether they came from um, transferring from a different college or this is the first class coming in uh, or as a senior with a lot of experience like Sam. You know, my job is to, you know, reach each individual in the room, um, to develop them, uh, to inspire them to play the game and to do things I will Thank you, Coach. Team. Right, that's been the, the mantra of this this off season for our guys, and they've done a good job with that. This, this training. Yeah, and unfortunately, injuries have kind of bit you guys specifically, but um, luckily that provides opportunities for a lot of younger guys. One of those players that Coach Ferris mentioned was Alex Wick. So, what have you been seeing from them? This yes, Alex. Actually, his name's Alec with 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 a C. Uh, Alec has done a really good job. You know, he he sold uh, signs and extras last year uh, through training camp and, and getting through uh, spring ball and, and uh, got the ball and things like that and now a, a whole nother year under his belt coming into training camp he's done a really good job of learning the offense and, and things have been tweaked and changed and adjusted a little bit and Alec is just one of those guys that he doesn't say a whole lot he's usually the first one out on the field uh, case in point this morning I show up I'm out on the field I usually try to get out here before the players do and sure enough not even a minute after I get on the field here comes Alex coming on the field to get 
get his returns in and get his uh, his pre pre practice drills in. So he's just a young man that shows up with the right mindset, doesn't say a whole lot, and uh, usually he's the first one on the field and usually the last one off the field. That's what I'm looking for in young men. Yeah, I appreciate you. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Coach, can you talk about uh, Caden? And obviously Jordan come, you mentioned Alec. Yeah. Um, just obviously I missed the first part of that conversation, but Coach Ferentz made it sound like wide receiver injuries have maybe been a bit problematic. You know, obviously it's somewhat to be expected, but yeah. it's a, kind of a thin room from a scholarship standpoint. Yeah. Which one of those walk-ons do you think are, are ready to make an impact? Uh, shoot, whoever shows up ready to go every day. Um, you know, it, it's a... It's kind of a trial by committee right now, and whoever shows up and does the best on a day-to-day -day basis and shows uh, shows their readiness to compete, their readiness to learn, and, and their eagerness to get out there and, and earn a role really is what it comes down to. And I would say right now, I call him A-Dub, uh, Alec Wick, has done a really good job of doing that every day. Going back, I was just telling the young lady, uh, Raven, uh, prior to you getting here, um, he has done a really good job of that going all the way back to last last uh, last training camp. I mean, he was just a young man that really stood out to me in the meeting rooms, out here on the field. Usually the first one in the meeting room, first one on the field. Doesn't say a whole lot, doesn't have a lot to uh, say whether it's good or bad. He just kind of shows up with the right mindset. And you can just see uh, the look in his eye. He's got a, a ready mentality, a growth, growth set mentality and growth set mindset. And he's done a really good job of just improving every single day and up to this point, there hasn't been much um, that I've asked him to do or that we've asked him to do as a coaching staff, whether it be uh, offensively as a receiver or special teams. There hasn't been much that it's like, man, he just is not good at it. He's just one of those guys that really understands football, and uh, he's eager to compete and earn a role. He's doing a really good job. And uh, Jacob Bostic, obviously, you know, he's potentially could be thrust into a situation where he sees early time. Do you think he's ready? I mean, I know it's, we're still early, but oh, yeah. what have you seen out of him? I know Arlen Bruce said some positive oh, things yeah. about Jacob. Um, he's definitely what, what we thought we were getting uh, skill set wise. I mean, case in point this morning, he made some plays uh, in, t in this morning's practice in some scrimmage type settings that he, he shows flashes. Obviously, he's young. He's still learning not only the system because we're all learning the system. Um, you know, I'm still learning. And I've been going to my sixth season, so we're all learning the system. So it's not about that so much. It's just about learning how we do things here, which is very unique, very different, uh, and it's very challenging, especially asking a young man that's coming out of high school a year ago, and now here he is, like you said, thrust into a situation where he can earn a role. Uh, so it, it's day by day with Jake, but he, he's pleased me. Every every day I see Flash, and I'm like, okay, that's the guy that we that we recruited. That's the guy I think we're going to we're gonna be able to build off of uh, moving forward. Um, but a lot of those young guys, I mean, like I think you said it at the beginning of this deal, the, right now, it's it's ample opportunity. I mean, it's a huge opportunity for all these young men to come out and showcase what they can do on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be from a receiver standpoint, um, you know, whether it's in a backup role, competing for a starting role, or more importantly, just contributing to however we can to the success of Iowa football. Special teams is something that has been overlooked in our room uh, quite often. You really, ha if you haven't been a returner, if you haven't been a starting returner, it's kind of been special teams is kind of taking a back role. Uh, for whatever whatever um, whatever reason in the minds of the past receivers here. And uh, it just can't be that way. If we're going to really contribute to the success of Iowa football, it's got to be in every facet. Well, special teams is, all, is, a, is a major priority for us to contribute to the success of this team. And last question for me, and I appreciate you taking the time. Um, is there one specific aspect of receiver play? And I know this is a tough question to answer because you're, you're trying to address all of them, but receiver separation, just crispness of routes, speed. What what do you see being the one category that could really help create more big plays in the passing game? Selflessness. That is probably not the answer you're looking for, but being selfless, all right? When you're talking about the whole scheme of things, any pass game, any passing system or whatever, usually it's about concepts. Uh, very rarely do you have a special type player that you're just going to you know, specialize and put all of the emphasis on him and him getting open and him winning one-on-one -on -one type routes. Uh, and our offense is about concepts and understanding that, hey, it's not just about me getting open. It's not just about me beating my guy, quote-unquote. It's about uh, understanding the whole concept, what we're trying to achieve. And even though I may not be open uh, according to what defense is called or what, what coverage is being played, I'm doing my job to get the next man open. And once every young man that's on that field understands that, not just the receiver position, but go across the board on offense. It's about selflessness. All right? And the more we can buy into that and truly understand that, that mindset, the more success we're going to have.